you know, you'll be working someplace and the bartender will sell your room number to some guy. You know, it'll be two o'clock in the morning. He's like, no, bang, bang, hey, baby. You know, I got 50 bucks. Hey, baby. You know, and um, after a while, I just learned to pick up the phone, front desk security, you know. Um, though there was another place and I was working in Manitoba and I'd gone to bed and, and I was kept my dance cane beside the door. I don't know why, but I did. And, um, you know, you always made sure you locked your door for sure. And uh, this guy kept banging on the door and it was like, you know, and I made no sound and, you know, bang my, hey baby, let me in, you know. And, and finally, this had gone on for about a half an hour and I was like, tired and fed up and um, I left the chain on the door and I opened the door and I said I'm not interested go away or I'll call the police you know and he tried to kind of force his way in and I slammed the door relocked it this kept on for another 20 minutes and finally I opened the door I opened the door with the cane in my hand and he'm like Ugh, you know and I picked up the cane and I just walked the crap out of him right, with this wooden cane. And the next day, I woke up to find a death threat under my door, and it was from this guy. And what he did, though, was he wrote it on an envelope that has his name and his address on it. <laughs> so down to the place I go, yeah, and I'm going, and they're going, oh, wow. You want to press charges? I said, yeah, I'm not going to be around, but yeah, I want to press charges. They said, okay, yeah. So, you know, it turned out that a lot of times uh, the police were kind of on our side. A lot of times it was like we were doing our job, you know. Um, but there were scary times.